Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to touch base on this particular figure. It is in fact based on Freddy Krueger. I did find it in Target and found it to have a lot of accessories from the movies. This is I believe is from part two. As you will see, we're going to check out the box and we're going to open it up and pull everything out of it and talk about the accessories as well as the actual figure in itself. So I will be right back. Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to touch base on this particular figure. It is in fact based on Freddy Krueger. I did find it in Target and found it to have a lot of accessories from the movies. This is I believe is from part two. As you will see, we're going to check out the box and we're going to open it up and pull everything out of it and talk about the accessories as well as the actual figure in itself. So I will be right back. Okay, we're back, and what we're going to do is uh, actually look at the box art, and then we're going to turn around, open up the package, and pull everything out of it. We're going to do this in stages like I normally do. What I do is I kind of introduce the, um, the box in itself and let it spin on the turntable, and then we look at the box art, and then I shut it down, and then we get into the actual figure by pulling it out of the box. So let's go ahead and give it a close look at this here. The man of your dreams is back. Now this is unique because it's a little bigger than your standard NECA box only because of all the accessories that come in this box. Alright. Freddy's Revenge Part 2. Now if there's a little glare on there I do apologize about that but the, uh, the lumen lights that I have are extremely bright but when it comes to the uh, actual glare off the uh, the box and stuff it does get a little blinding so I apologize about that but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, back of the bus. All right, now over here, it says A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. And it's got some writing, okay? I'll let you guys read that if you want and just stop it and just kind of read it. And then we got the top of the box. All right, and then we got the bottom of the box. See, it's a pretty standard box, but it's it's bigger than your normal ones. I'm going to show you the side panel. There we go. And it does come with the flame in the back, as you can clearly see. I'm not sure if I want to set it up like that. I don't know if you can actually see what's in, in here. Okay, now in the back, you can see the flame right behind his head. And it comes with other various accessories. The dogs, okay. I haven't seen this movie in so long, the fedora, that I need to get back into them again. Now keep in mind, they are not considered my favorite franchise. Um, according to the ranks, uh, Hellraiser is in fact my uh, all-time favorite franchise. Then Friday the 13th, and then um, Halloween, then Chucky, and then this guy comes in after that. And then the other movies like The Nun, uh, The Conjuring Universe, those are really cool. Uh, Insidious, those are badass. I love those movies. But anyway, that's that's the order of it all. Uh, Freddy's not my uh, favorite, but he's got some cool elements about him, so keep that in mind. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down and pull all the accessories out because it will take time because you know they got to strap everything in, so i got to cut it all out. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back, and I did take a little bit of time to pull these thing, uh, the stuff out, the accessories out of the box. But I found it extremely easy to pull out of the box, not as compared to other NECA figures. It was just a few, uh, you know, plastic pieces that wrapped the uh, figure in. I cut it, good. Everything else was kind of loose, which is a good thing. But before we get into the actual figure in itself, I want to show you this background that comes in the box. And you can actually use it as a display. I'm going to see if I can pull it back so you can see what it looks like. Okay, then you can kind of get an idea. You can set your figure right inside this box. 
it's a very cool looking background as you can see I think that's badass looking. But anyway, enough about the box. Let's get into the accessories. Let's start off with the different heads that they have. Now, that, the one I got on the uh, figure, I think I might leave it the way it is. Okay. I can get my hand out of the way so you can see the face. All right. His head is really scarred from all the burns. Okay, that's the one head. Let's get into this other head, which is in fact a little bit different. But they usually are, so. Hang on, let me get a grip on that. Okay. So you can pull it in close. So this one here is a little bit more scarred, as you can see on the top of the head. It's almost showing his brains. Whoa! Back to work. Okay. Alright. Well, these are nicely detailed. I'll give them that. I do have a total of three of these uh, Freddy Krueger figures. I got one here on the table. I'm going to show you and compare them between the two of them. But I'm pretty sure they're probably pretty much the same. Alright, now this actual claw or um, his hand thing with the knives, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, is a little bit different. It's more humanoid. And I kind of switched it out because when you get the packaging, this would be on the actual figure. But I decided to switch them out. See, they're nice and long. But they almost got like, you know, almost like a human skin feature to it. Where the other one is a little bit burnt. It seems more suitable for me. Okay. All right, now let's get into the doggies. These are um, not Dobermans, but they're I think they're Rottweilers. Uh, they're very cool looking dogs, man. The Conde Corso, uh, those are badass dogs too. All right, but here's the face to that. The chain or the collar, not the chain. All right, very demon like doggies. The other one, I think, is exactly the same. Now, the facial features are different, okay, and the collars are different, so they are completely different in a way. Now, I'm not sure if there's any oh, there is articulation in that. You can twist the necks. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, but the faces are definitely different. The facial features, anyway. Which I thought it was cool. Okay. Enough about these things here. Now, like most Freddy Krueger figures, I did put a stand on this. I'm going to take it off real quick. All right. Oops. He fell. Hang on. Yeah, we just keep him right here. Alright. Back to work here. Okay. Now, one thing I noticed about this particular fire piece here, as you notice right here, it's got a little magnetic, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, pad or something. It connects directly to the back of this thing. That's what makes this one different than most figures. It doesn't have the magnetic magnetic strips in the other figures, as far as I know. Alright. And that's the flame. Alright, so now what you do with that, you see on the back, you don't see anything on the back. Like I said, there's something magnetic in it. And you just kind of put it on there. You'll feel it right there. It'll connect, okay? But if you don't want it on there, you can always take it off. Okay, the, the fedora is a little bit different. <clears throat> I'll take and show you the comparison between the two figures. Alright. 
So now that you can see the hand here, it is a little bit different, but I like the actual color of it. It's almost got like a burnt feature to it, but it's very long in nature too. All right. Pull them down. The fedora, let's see, show you the head here real quick. Pull that out of the way, okay. Top of the head is scarred from burning. Christmas sweater. Alright. Now I believe they're in the process of making another movie. And rumor has it Robert England wants to do another movie even though he's retired. But we'll see what happens with that. If he doesn't do it, I can guarantee you one thing. You're going to have certain fans that are going to criticize it because it's a different actor. And that rule applies to all the franchises. Especially Hellraiser. When Doug Bradley decided not to do a, a movie towards the end. And there was a lot of criticism because of it. Anyone that actually took uh, Pinhead's place or Doug Bradley's place. Didn't quite do it as well, okay? But that's that rule applies to all the franchises. Chucky, Michael Myers, um, the other franchises as well. This one's no different either. The 2010 uh, movie, uh, that garnered a lot of unnecessary criticism because it was too different for them. For me, I liked it because it had a darker uh, theme to it, a lot darker than the other movies. And it wasn't so comical. It was more serious, but that's what I liked about it. And Jackie Earl, Earl, Jackie Earl Haley, who was actually in the Bad News Bears, in my opinion, he did a really good job. It's just me, okay? All right, but anyway, back to work here. You got your holes in the bottom so you can put your stands on it. The articulation is no different than any other figure when it comes to that. There's movement in the arm here, shoulder, as well as the elbows. They bend just a little bit, but you don't want to force it. Obviously, it'll snap, and the neck moves up and down and around. Oh, sorry, up and down and around. Okay, and it's a little loose, so I wouldn't mess with it too much. Same rule applies to this side. This hand moves, but you gotta be careful when you put your um, glove on. It's it's really hard to put on there. Articulation in the waist. It does move, as you can see. Right, same thing with the legs, they do move as well as the knees, okay? Now, the actual feet do move too, up and down and around, okay? You see, it moves very little, so you don't want to force it, so it's just meant to stand. That's what it is there. Okay? Okay, enough about that. Let's compare the two fedoras. Okay, hang on. Let me just straighten him out a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, this particular figure is from the original Nightmare. As you can see, he's different. He's like, ah! All right, I'm going to compare the two of them. The Christmas sweaters are positioned a little different. As you can see, this one here has got more of a wrinkle. And it's pulled up a little bit. And the colors are slightly different in themselves. This one's more darker in some aspects. But it's almost like black stripes as compared to the green. Alright. The actual claws are pretty much the same. Alright. The back of the uh, sweater is a little different. As you can see, it's wrinkled a little different. Oh, let me get you in there. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Okay, now enough about the comparison of these two. There's different head skulls for these, obviously. The fedoras, let's check them out. Okay, there you go. They are a little different. This one here is creased, which I believe... Okay, yeah, you see how they're bent right here, I'll show you. I'm going to just get a better grip on that. See the back of that hat right here? This one here? It's a little scrunched up. So that's off of this one here. Okay. I'm 
and the top of it's different. I think it's easier to do it this way. You can see they're considerably different, okay? Alright, enough about that. Let's put these bad boys back on their head. Okay. Wait within a second here, guys. Okay. And this one here. Okay. I think this is it. Well, it really don't matter, I don't think. I guess it does matter. Hang on for a second here, guys. Let's check this one out. Yeah, that one fits on there. Okay, see? Okay, enough about that. Let's put the other fedora on the other Freddy Krueger. Now, I got a total of three of these. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, but they are good movies, don't get me wrong. Okay. Oh, sorry about that, guys. The camera keeps getting in the way. All right, let me just put these back on their stands. All right, put this one back on its stand. Put the doggies up there. Who let the dogs out? And we are set, guys. Okay? That is, in fact, my uh, Freddy Krueger from uh, The Revenge of Freddy Krueger. It's part two. And the other one is part one. I do have another one just like part one. Exact same thing. I think it's got a different head sculpt on it. Because I ended up buying it thinking it was a different uh, Freddy Krueger, but I was wrong about that. Okay? But that's okay. I don't mind collecting these figures. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the House of Horrors. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell because I'm going to be pushing out another uh, video right after this one here. And it is based on Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. It is the Living Dead doll set. Okay, There's a total of three of them in there and I'm going to do that one next. So stay tuned for that guys. Okay, You have yourself a good day. What's going on there? Oh, okay, hang on. Come on back over here. Whoa! All right, we got chaos here. Chaos has ensued. So hang on for a second here. <laughs> I thought we were going get to get through this smoothly, but it doesn't always work out that way, now does it? All right, you need to stay on there. Okay. Uh, it's not going to stay on. All right, well, anyway, I'll see you guys later. All right.